The World Corporate Golf Challenge has been uniting industry leaders worldwide for over two decades. And what started as a local tournament in the UK is now a year-long global event leading to the world final. What we do basically is, is, is having a week of different events. We have our main event, the World Corporate Golf Challenge, where the winners from all these nationalities are coming to represent their country and their company. But we organize as well, in terms of pure business related, we organize the licenses and guests tournament. And then we organize another event it's called the Corporate Cup. So we try to do the week uh, an experience of a lifetime, really. There are people here from literally all over the planet. And, uh, they come, it's an opportunity for them to make new friends, to network as well. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of them in different businesses and they exchange cards and they keep in touch uh, long after uh, we've had the event. I love the networking stuff and so being able to meet all of these people and connect with them, um, try to find out solutions to any problems that they might have or how you could uplift something that they're doing with someone else who's doing something similar. Where else in the world you can find time to meet all the top industry leaders and spend a good quality of four or five hours walking with them, playing with them, joking with them, eating with them, partying with them. And I'm sure during the course of conversation, if you keep your eyes and ear open, you'll probably found some, find some common ground you can pro probably work on. During these five hours, when you spend on the golf course, you can really know the, the guy who is running the business, right? And you can see his emotions, how he treats you, how he treats the game. Because of the nature of the game, you have enough time to actually be there with together three, four, five hours. So you have the opportunity during the course of your play to discuss many things. And usually you want to do something productive. That is where business comes in. While the golf unites business leaders and licensees, the event also provides a great opportunity for sponsors to reach a target market. Uh, as far as ICC is concerned, we're looking to build our brand. And as far as the, uh, the World Corporate Golf Challenge is concerned, they're looking to build the number of licensees they have. They're looking to strengthen the licensees that they have. And what we found is that our two constituencies are very similar. This world final is exactly the uh, face of, uh, of Matthews. Uh, we, uh, as a brand, we, we want to be seen as a, a young, involved brand with, uh, with the good moments in life. Of course, Conto Florence uh, is involved in golf uh, since years, uh, and this is one of the best challenge, uh, golf challenge in the, in the world. So we want to be uh, surely involved with the uh, World Corporate Golf Challenge uh, because absolutely it's very important for us. Everybody is so friendly, we're making contact, we're making friends, and business is all about people. It's all about making good contacts, and this is what we're doing here. We try to, to make everything good, the best, you understand? And I think the golf uh, is a, a sport that it's necessary that people overpass our problems, okay? Global event, growing all the time, well supported. We meet some really, uh, really nice people, but you know, great business contacts as well. This tournament, it's, uh, it has a lot of uh, return, uh, a lot of awareness, so we decided that uh, it will be a great opportunity. With a record amount of participants in 2015, the World Corporate Golf Challenge is now looking to reach 100 licensees by the year 2020. New records are sure to be set when the event returns to Cascais in 2016.